Thank you for taking a few minutes out with us to watch Momentum Talks. I'm Wade Hatchett, Strategic Business Coach at Your Business Momentum. And today we've got Brendan Golby from Toowoomba.com.au. Welcome, Brendan. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. No problems at all. Really excited about today's topic. And the more and more we interact with business owners, we see that it's very much around the connections they make, uh, meeting people and you know, seeing what opportunities present. And that's really what we'll be talking about today. But before we get started, I will just give you a quick introduction to Brendan. So Brendan, over the last few years, has built a personal brand for himself based on a philosophy of helping businesses to connect and meet. During this time, Brendan has built Toowoomba's largest LinkedIn group, had a series of hugely successful business networking events, and is a go-to person for the local business and services. Brendan's also the co-owner of a local business directory, toowoomba.com.au, and currently also works as a new home sales consultant at Gordon Burke Constructions. Additionally, he was also named in the top 100 most influential people in Toowoomba. Uh, once again, I really appreciate you being with us. Welcome. Thank you. So the purpose of Momentum Talks is really just to share valuable content with business owners and to introduce you to specialists who can potentially help you overcome some of the challenges that you might be facing in business. So today, as I mentioned, we'll really be talking about LinkedIn and how we can use that to connect, um, create visibility for your business, and hopefully unlock a few doors and create some opportunity for you as well. So where I'd like to start, Brennan, is um, I've just got a question around, you know, what's an, a crazy or an amazing statistic um, relevant to um, LinkedIn that others may not know? I'd probably say the first one that um, surprised me a lot is that um, as of November 2018, uh, there's a 10 million LinkedIn um, profiles in Australia, which is, you know, out of the 25 million uh, people who live in Australia, it's, it's quite a substantial amount. So sort of 60% of the people in Australia have a LinkedIn connection. Well, that's huge. Just shows what opportunity there is to, to connect with, um, you know, a whole range of different people across across the whole country in a, in a range of different industries as well. So opportunity seems limitless with that sort of number. Definitely. Mate, we just want to expand on what you're known for in this space. So within the, the Toowoomba business ecosystem, uh, I'm definitely known for sort of being the Mr. LinkedIn of Toowoomba. Um, you know, I've, I've definitely got myself a, um, well, I guess there's nearly 9,000 uh, local Toowoomba people who are direct connected to me on LinkedIn so that that's probably my claim to fame um, but it's also around um, you know creating LinkedIn events and creating you know business networking events that are face-to-face -face, um, that allow people to not only connect but also meet um, and you know create opportunities between each other so we've done uh, you know a series of, of breakfasts where we have sort of between 90 and 100 people at and also a series of after hour events where we've had anywhere between two and 400 people attend. Yeah, that's fantastic. And look, the, the interactions that we've had in the past, I know that LinkedIn plays a, you know, a critical role in getting those events off the ground and also, um, you know, really getting people to connect with each other. So it just shows how powerful it can be. Definitely. Yep. Um, what's two or three of the major issues that arise for business owners when they're really starting to build that LinkedIn profile and, you know, connecting with other uh, other potential, you know, business owners or um, service providers, things like that. So I'd probably say the the first thing around LinkedIn is that um, business owners don't seem to spend enough time really um, trying to create a, a LinkedIn profile that um, will actually start bringing people into their profile to actually dig a bit deeper. So it's very important to have a, a really good um, headshot. Uh, it's important to also, you know, put a bit of time and effort into a, a quality headline you really want to create a headline that, you know, to a certain degree talks to your ideal audience. Um, secondary to that is, is really trying to make sure you fill out as many different um, parts or sections of your LinkedIn profile. Um, each one of those sections, you know, essentially create, has, you know, words and, um, and paragraphs that are, are then searchable via Google. So you'll find that, you know, what, depending on what you put into your LinkedIn profile, we'll, we'll have a bit of a, I guess, an impact on the amount of people that come directly from LinkedIn directly to your profile. What, what most people don't understand is that, you know, if you Google your name, most likely LinkedIn is, is one of those very highly 
um, ranked pages um, attached to your name in most cases. Um, so then from a, a LinkedIn point of view, the second part of that is, you know, we notice that business owners um, often lack engagement on the platform. So, you know, you'll find that they've got a lot of participation for maybe a week and then months and months will go past and they've got, then they'll come back to it and there'll be participation for a short period of time and they'll go away again. So it's actually about trying to create consistency on the platform, which actually creates ongoing visibility and top of mind awareness about your services. Um, and the third, the third thing I probably have to say is that, um, you know, a lot of um, business owners are very fearful to connect, um, you know, or send connection requests out to the LinkedIn community, whether they're people they know or people they don't know. Um, I'd encourage them just to, you know, sort of drop that fear to a certain degree um, and understand that, you know, you might get between six and eight people, um, or sorry, out of 10 people that you, you send a connection request out to, six to 10 will, will connect, you know, generally within that month. So. Yeah. And look, at it, I suppose it's no different to a, um, a face to face event. You know, you never know out of that six or six or eight people who's actually going to respond and the potential opportunities that could present for your business as a result of that. And so it's really about just taking that first step and connecting and seeing where it leads from there. Yeah, definitely. What's uh, what's one action that um, a business owner could take to create, um, you know, better visibility or even, you know, as I said, op you know, um, execute on some of those opportunities that present by connecting through people on LinkedIn. So I guess, you know, there's, there's multiple ways to, you know, create connections on LinkedIn. Um, but the one that I've found to be sort of most successful is, is going to, you know, your sort of local business networking events um, and meeting meeting people face to face at those events and then basically following up with them afterwards um, and really not, you're not following up with, to them with them from a sales perspective. You're following up with them from a, you know, it was great to, to meet you the other night and, um, and, you know, you know, it'd be great to sort of connect and, and continue this relationship moving forward. So I think it's really about, you know, trying to offer ways that you might be able to help them in the future rather than, you know, sort of sticking your hand out for a sale, I guess. Yeah. Um, Really interesting. I spoke with someone the other day, a um, business owner, and they're, they're almost even giving away the um, business cards and really just using the social media as the, the point of connection and keeping everyone started that way. Yeah, and I think, I think that's, you know, pretty, pretty, much, pretty common, I guess, now. Like with LinkedIn, the great thing is that as people transfer and move between, in their career between different roles, you know, LinkedIn is generally the only one that stays the same. You know, if, if you had you know, say their mobile number and email address for one business and then suddenly they move to another business, they'd probably leave that, you know, that email address would stop working and maybe that phone number stays with the business. So, you know, you'll find that you'll quickly lose track of these people, whereas yeah. LinkedIn actually allows you to, you know, sort of maintain those connections as you, you know, follow through with your career as well. Yeah, it's a great point. What's, um, what's a valuable resource um, or piece of content relevant to networking on social media or LinkedIn that you can share that really might help a business owner get started with LinkedIn? So probably the first one that comes to mind is there's a company that's owned by LinkedIn. It's called lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A.com. Now, lynda.com is a, basically a repository of um, training videos. Um, and inside that uh, sort of group of training videos, there's plenty of, of, I guess, expertise around LinkedIn and social media. Uh, you can jump onto their website. I think there's some 14 or 30 day free trials available on their website. So it's a matter of just sort of jumping on there and maybe having a look through um, some of the LinkedIn training that's available. Um, there's some great training by a lady named um, Vivenka Von Rosen, which is worth having a look at as well. Yeah, look, I've used it in the past. It is a fantastic resource. So good call out. Now, I mentioned earlier that um, one of the, the whole reasons we put together Momentum Talks is really just to add value to business owners. And um, what we find, whether you know, you know, connect at a, a social event um, or you, you know, talking to another business owner, sometimes some of the best little hints and tips come from the software and the apps that they use. And really, all those uh, tools are to make people's lives a little bit easier. And we figure that if something works really well for you, it can work well for someone else. So, mate, I'd love to know 
what's your best piece of software or app? And obviously we're talking LinkedIn here, but in addition to LinkedIn, what's something else that you use um, that can really make a big difference? Yeah, there's, there's plenty, of, plenty of apps that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, but probably um, one that sort of comes to mind a little bit is, a, is an app called Quick, that's Q-U-I-K by GoPro. And with that particular app, um, it allows you to take multiple photos or videos you know, maybe it's during a networking event or something like that. And um, being able to sort of, I guess, in a way, smash all those photos and videos together into a little bit of a sort of slideshow um, type of you know, video that you can actually then share on social media. And it's sort of by tagging in, you know, potentially those people that you met during those events, which is, you know, sort of another way to sort of create, you know, sort of a bit more reach and visibility, um, you know, on social media. That sounds interesting. I know that a lot of people struggle putting together the videos and things for social media. So I'll certainly be giving that one a, a try. Thanks for that. Um, look, in from myself and the team at uh, Your Business Momentum, I just wanted to say a really big thank you for your time. I know everyone's uh, really busy. Um, and people that are watching this, I'm sure you can see the, the passion that Brennan has for connecting people and business owners and really opening up the opportunities at Sensor. Um, look, we've spoken about uh, LinkedIn, so what a great opportunity. Reach out to Brendan and connect with him on LinkedIn. Um, I'm sure that you know, you'll see some of the great um, content and connections that he has on that space as well. So from us, Brendan, I really want to say a huge thank you. Thank you, thanks for having me. Also, for those that are watching, um, if you have found this useful, um, um, we'd love you to subscribe to Momentum Talks. Um, we would love to get specialists on that can really add value to business owners. So if you'd like to receive these in, in the future, please just subscribe. And we're also always on the lookout for really quality specialists. So if you've got a, you know, a service or a message that you think you can use to really add value to a business owner, then we'd love, love to hear from you. Um, so that's it for this edition of Momentum Talks, Brennan. A huge thank you from me and the team. Um, so until next time, all the very best. Thank you.